Hello guys, in this YouTube video, I'm going to show you how you can create YouTube thumbnails using Canva in simple, easy steps. So the first step is to go to canva.com and if you don't have an account, it's very easy to sign up. The whole sign up process only takes about three minutes. You just have to enter your username or your email address or you can also sign up using your Gmail or Facebook account. Now, once you're in, this will be your main dashboard and as you can see, you got the home, you got the templates where you can see all the ready-made templates that are available and it also comes in different types of marketing materials like you've got social media you've got invitations cards presentation websites and so on so canva has a free account but it also has a pro account which is what i'm using right now because it's really really good for our whole um, social media team so there are two ways to create YouTube thumbnails in Canva and I'm going to discuss the first one which is using the ready-made templates available. So the first thing you need to do is type in YouTube thumbnail and that should bring you to this page. So as you can see, we have 527 ready-made templates. So if you need inspiration, just look for different types of templates you got beauty, travel, tutorial, fitness, and more. So you can spend a few minutes looking at the available templates. Ah, oh, isn't that cute? All right, so I've already chose a template earlier and I'm gonna show it to you right now. So this is a template I selected earlier, and this is where you can edit your YouTube thumbnail. So everything here is clickable. You can click on the background photo as well as on the font. So let's start with a background photo. You can always change this. You can go to Canva's photo library. So just click on photo and then you can type in the keyword, whatever your channel is about. So for example, I just type in road trip and that should give me a bunch of photos that are available in the pro version. So since I'm using pro, if you are using the free account, you might have um, lesser choices, but that's fine. Or what you can do is you can go to Pexels, Pixabay, or any other stock free stock photo sites. And then you can always upload your photos right here. You can make use of the upload. So you can upload from your device, from Facebook, from Google Drive, Instagram, and so on. So in my case, I'll just make use of the photo right here. So let's say I want to use this one. All you have to do is click on it and we're gonna remove the old photo and I'll just make sure that it's properly positioned. And there are a bunch of things that you can do with your background photo. You can flip it, so you can flip it horizontally, vertical even, and you can crop it, of course. So you can make it smaller like that. You can also adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, and other settings. You can also filter, set a filter. So there are a bunch of filters you can choose from here and you also have the effects so there are tons of things that you can do right here in Canva there you go smudge I mean some of these I haven't seen before uh, oh okay Oh, this mirror. All right. Okay. So maybe I'll just um, cancel it. 
Okay, and then you can also customize the font. So as you can see, because we have a light background photo, the white font isn't doesn't really stand out. So I can change the color right here. So now I can change it to black. I could also change the font size. So if I want it bigger or smaller, this is where you can do that. You can also try different um, you can also try different fonts right here. Fonts also have effects that you can choose from, like shadow, splice, neon, and so on. So, I guess we can just Finish this off, and we can change this image, or this we can change the color of the font. Maybe something like that. Okay, so there you go. That is a YouTube thumbnail that you can already use um, depending on your channel so that's pretty simple right so the second way is where you actually start from scratch and you can do this on the same page all you have to do is click on add page and you'll start off with a blank canvas so the background color is black right now but you can change that to white and then from there you can add a bunch of different elements like like photos, whether it's from your own library that you want to upload or from Canvas existing library, as well as elements. So they got vector, frames, lines, stickers, and so on. Again, the key here is to type in the correct keyword. So if I want to add robots, then it's going to pull up a bunch of different robots right here. And next would be the text. And next is the text. So what I also like about Canva is that it already has some font combinations that you can use right here. So this one actually looks nice, right? Okay, and then What I'm gonna do is show you one of the best features of Canva. And I know it's the best because I used to do this in Photoshop, which took time before. But now you can do this in a single click. So just choose any photo you want and go to effects, and then click on background remover. In less than five seconds, you have that background removed so let's say I want to use that and then for this font I want to bring it forward so you can go to here you can go here and then position forward okay. hello side boobs <laughs> all right And then you can maybe just adjust the uh, font right here. All right. And if you want to add a couple more elements, so say I want to put in a kiss mark, I can select from here, and then I'm just going to put it right here. All right. And that's it. All right, so these are all YouTube thumbnail designs that we did for some of our clients and some of our social media or our YouTube channels. So these are more YouTube thumbnail designs that we made for another client, which is a travel channel. So 
you know, it's so easy to just find some travel photos here in Canva if you don't have like a higher resolution, great image that you can use for your thumbnail because, you know, I mean, thumbnail, when, when, when it comes to YouTube, thumbnail design is very, very important. So you want those high resolution, attractive photos. So for example, this one is really pretty. If you don't have that shot, then you can just go to um, Photos Pro and select, for example, Dubai Skyline. And it will show you just this um, amazing images. And some of them, that, like what I, what I told earlier, they come um, free with the Pro account. And if you're only using a free version, they also have some options, but it's very limited. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, it all says Pro. So if it's Pro, that means it's not available on the free account. So here are more um, thumbnails that we did. It, you know, um, like our designers can do this in less than three minutes, as long as you already have a template. So having a template is really, really important. Um, I want to show you. Okay, so these are some of the um, YouTube thumbnails that I myself created. As you can see, this one is in one of my videos, um, the Legoland, and you know, it's all very easy to put together. So those are the two ways to create YouTube thumbnails in Canva, very easy, and I suggest you try it for your next uploads. If you find this useful, don't forget to click on like and subscribe so you are updated with my upcoming videos. Stay safe and stay virtually empowered. Bye!